welcome back to my channel this is restore refurb works and today we are going to do a tear down and clean of this microsoft scalp ergonomic wireless mouse so it's a used mouse i got it somewhere from the marketplace interesting because i have not got a cute mouse like this before but it's um, professional so having a first view of it, it, it wraps around the, the palm nicely. It, it seems like you'll be able to use long hours on this. There are other buttons, a dedicated windows button. So from here, opening up the case as usual, Microsoft designs their mouse differently. So that's uh, powered by two AA batteries. There's a uh, dongle uh, and the buttons. So this mouse from the specs right is uh, using this blue track technology so you can even use it on the glass surface after some researching right i know that uh, uh, this is open up from the front so you need to use a spudger and gently uh, pry it off of its clip i decided to start off from the front so uh, it, it's quite easy if you yeah dare to uh, exert a bit more force so uh, we, we do have friends they are scared of breaking the plastic tabs so as you see the first try it came out quite easily uh, no broken plastic bits so pointing out where the clips location are it will give you indication where to pry on if you try to Afterwards, we have five uh, screws, uh, a T7. So, removing it. A tricky part is at the six o'clock there, there's this one screw uh, which uh, screws down into the, the board. So, later on, we'll, I'll, I'll duplicate the, the screen and mark it with a laser pointer to make sure when you're doing your assembly, you does not miss, miss it up because on my assembly, I was having an additional one screw and I don't know where it's go, it goes to so later it will be indicated so having a look at the inside of the mouse right uh, well it's complex one layer two layer in fact there's three separate boards so what here you see the mouse as uh, in the spec right is uh, scrolling forward backwards left and right So as usual, the plan of attack will be removing uh, the parts that are most obvious and out of the, get them out of the way first before assessing other screws. So in this case, is the screw mouse. Use the appropriate size budget and uh, pry it off its clip. So do be careful. Uh, most of the mouse uh, of such grade, right, they should have a spring underneath to retract it back. So yeah, be careful not to lose it. Next right, we'll be trying uh, our best to remove as much screws that are blocking uh, the side of this uh, case. First of all would be the windows button. There's two screws over there and there's two more screws holding uh, the uh, black case underneath my thumb. After removing the two pen head screws that holds this piece right, you just need to pick up your courage and pry it outwards. So later you'll be able to see how it's being attached to. Apologies for this footage is taken from a second uh, tear down that I did because I missed some screws. That's why if you notice the screw wheel is still there.
so if you see the, the side piece is held on with these two clips once it's clipped on then you screw in the pen shape uh, screw yeah, you need to sit it on the slot then you will clip in easily tearing down further so we see the different individual boards the black plastic holder for the mouse so uh, this is a quality mouse because um, the different colored plastics are its individual parts some brands that we've seen right okay it might be a white color part but it's spray painted so over time you will lose uh, after some wearing you will lose its color but for, not for this and I'm um, always impressed by the, the, the quality uh, that they give the soldering uh, of the, the, the resistors the wires are really well done so unlikely you will find um, any solders uh, coming off which uh, compromise on the working of the uh, product so first look into the uh, various boards right we see some flux residue which i'm gonna clean later and wow these are really densely populated uh, boards okay. one two three four in fact So I'll just speed through the cleaning process of the uh, exterior case. So far it's uh, okay condition, usable, no uh, uh, sticky rubber parts yet. Time for assembly of the mouse is quite straightforward. Try to recall uh, how it's done previously and work backwards.
plastic bracket for this side buttons uh, there is a certain orientation to go about you will not be able to uh, install it wrongly so there are these plastic uh, clips uh, and also this holes on the uh, board so put it in the correct direction and screw it down and assembly the windows button do remember there's a really thin plastic spring so make sure the spring and sit onto the dedicated slot on the plastic bracket and click it down test it a bit make sure it's sitting correctly then yes you need to install the next uh, cover It's funny trying to assemble this mouse because it's an ergo mouse. The plastic bits are more or less slanted a bit. So uh, a lot of times I was okay, trying to find out which orientation it sits in. And as usual, uh, installing this uh, self-treading a screw onto plastic bits just uh, get it uh, snug but not over tighten so when you over tighten plastic parts will break and you you'll lose its uh, strength So instead installing the middle piece to the base of the uh, case, there's this part that I've made a mistake. So uh, as highlighted here in this laser, this screw should not be installed. It should be done on the later part. If you have done it here, right, later on, you will find that there's one extra screw. <laughs> So if you have enjoyed this complex tear down and clean, uh, do click on the like button. Then there's a subscribe button. Uh, once you subscribe, right, you'll be notified of uh, my future uh, posts.
applying some uh, silicone grease uh, on the pivots, the contact parts of the uh, mouse uh, screw wheel. So for the spring, right, do make sure it sits on its position inside. Then you will have a response. So usually these uh, slots will be marked by a plus sign. Make sure it sits in. Always test it a bit, left, right, up and down. Make sure it's okay before closing up. So a good habit I have learned over the past many videos of tearing down and cleaning is while you are assembling uh, the part, uh, take it slow, make sure that the screw, the correct screws are put back in the places and you're not missing out because after you have uh, assembled the whole thing that you find out hey, uh, how come there's this particular part that's not put in then you have to go through the trouble of, of uh, dismantling it again, redoing it again, then you miss out something again so yeah, take it slow So going towards the end of the video, uh, installing the battery, uh, both uh, batteries go in the same direction, uh, there's a green light that uh, look, uh, lit up, it's a good sign, testing the left and right click, the window button and the mappable button, everything is good, then we're about there. So if you have stayed to the end of the video, thank you. And uh, this is Restore Refurb Works. See you in the next one.